China is noodle heaven. Wheat noodles. 兰州人就是喜欢早上大清早吃一碗牛肉拉面 Rice noodles. 它这就是大米，然后水经过发酵以后加工出来的 Thin, thick. 中毒跟脊背跟包个小鬼还有好多功夫的。这碗面的话，当你吃到嘴里，你就感觉它潦倒了。The list is absolutely endless. Hi, I'm Clarissa, and I'm excited to announce that we're doing a whole series just on noodles. So, how did this come about? We just wrapped up a 13-part series on Chinese food called Eat China, where I traveled to four different regions of the country, learned about their food culture, and ate at some of the best restaurants in town. If you haven't seen it, the link is in the video description. So after season one, we got a lot of feedback, and you guys said you liked it when we dove deep into one specific dish. So this time, we've decided to focus just on noodles. This is Eat China season two noodle edition. Our first episode is actually a place I went to three years ago. It's a noodle school in Lanzhou, Gansu Province, where noodles are entirely hand pulled. Later, we'll also have noodles made with bamboo, noodles shaped with knives, and noodles made with rice. So, why did you choose noodles? Because it's one of those ingredients I think that really reflects the diversity of China. For example, wheat noodles are more prevalent in northern China because that's where wheat grows, and rice noodles are mostly found in the south because rice as a crop requires much more rain, and the south compared to the north gets plenty of it. And also, like with pasta in Italy, making Chinese noodles is an art. It's not just flour and water. Sometimes an alkaline substance is added to make the noodles more chewy. Sometimes they're made with flour and egg. And how you knead and shape the dough is absolutely essential. So, what's the goal of the series? The goal is to get people to appreciate the nuances of Chinese cuisine and hopefully get them hungry for noodles. Are we too fake? Are we too fake? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit. Thank、you